you. I, I only bought these four days ago. It doesn't take eggplant. I put stored them in the refrigerator. Maybe that was the wrong place. But it doesn't take eggplants long to go bad, eh? Man, only four days ago. Let me see if I can scoop that out. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use uh, my, like, my potato peeler. Yeah, see if I can scoop that out. Or maybe a knife. Um, yeah, uh, got a knife here, yeah, knife might work better. I'm going to see if I can scoop that out. I'm going to make a simple Japanese eggplant dish. I'm going to go safe. Let's get this out of here. I've got to cut this bad part out. Man, you got to make you got to cook egg. I have, it's been a while since I've made eggplant. Yep. Okay, this is out. Let me see what it is. Another bad spot. Right there. We're going to take that out. I'm going to be... Ba I do not have a baking sheet, a cookie sheet. And that's what they recommend for this recipe. So I'm going to be creative and hope it works. <laughs> so, alright, that'll work. Took that out of there. Let me see. That looks okay. Man, I must have been... Okay, the rest of it seems to be fine. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get ready to make this recipe here. This is a, a Japanese dish called uh, Nasu Dengaku. Nasu Dengaku. Alright, let's see if I can get me a knife. Okay, first thing, preheat the oven to about 392. We'll go to 375, that'll work. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. 392, almost 400. All right, let's cut that out. If I remember correctly, it doesn't take long for these things to brown, so I can't be too slow. <laughs> All right. Score. Sliced in half lengthwise. Oh, I should have made the, uh, oh, that'll work. Okay. And I need to score it, uh, in a diagonal grid pattern. I saw a picture and it looks like it goes kind of like this. This way. Okay. Boy, it's already starting to brown. Let's move fast. I don't want to cut my finger. <laughs> Lord, you help me. Okay, let's go this way. That's good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and um, brush a foil covered baking tray with oil. I'm going to have to use this because I do not have a cookie sheet. <laughs> I had one a long time ago and I threw it out because I was trying to get rid of aluminum cooking, cooking ware. I don't know if that was overboard, but that was a long time ago. I said, like, do not have a cookie sheet. I'm gonna, I think this will work. I kind of store this right over there. Let's go ahead and put aluminum on the bottom. this out. Oh, what I did is I brushed oil all the way around that and then I brushed it, I put oil on the top of the aluminum foil. That's my version of a cookie sheet. So there's oil on the purple side and on the underside, on the cut side. So right here and I cut it. You can see? So yeah. 
Okay. I'm waiting for the oven to preheat, and when it does, I'm going to stick the eggplant in there. Okay, the oven is preheated. So let's just go ahead and uh, stick this in the uh, oven. There. All right. I'm going to put it up a little higher because it needs to be almost 400. All right. Here are the instructions. I got a little water on this. <laughs> Okay, we're at, uh, I need to go ahead and chop some tofu now. I'm going to post this recipe at my website, though. I mean, it is, it is at my website, so there'll be a link underneath this video. Okay, i got to cube the tofu. This recipe actually calls for three eggplants, so I'm going to have to thaw it, you know. I'm going to reserve some of this tofu for wakame seaweed salad, which is another Japanese recipe which I've already made. Let's go ahead and cube this. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, what's going to happen, and I set the alarm so that I can, 30 minutes in the oven, set the alarm so that I know when to uh, check on the eggplant. Okay. I usually go really, really slow here so I don't cut myself. There we go. Here. There we go. There we go. Alright. Just go ahead and uh, stick it in here. I'm not going to use all of this. It's, the recipe calls for 9 ounces of tofu, and this is like almost a pound. And so I'm going to reserve this for another recipe. So I'll be, But I'm not going to show you the other one. It's wakame seaweed salad, which I've already... I'm not, or I might put it in miso soup. Uh, I'll, I'll do something else with it. Okay, the recipe calls for 9 ounces of tofu. And this is actually 16 ounces. So, let's kind of split it up. Uh, I don't have to follow the recipe exactly. Nine ounces would be a little bit... Uh, and that's with three. So this is way too much for that one, uh, for that one eggplant. So let's get about half of, half of it out of here. Okay. Looks like this recipe just uses tofu as a spice. Okay. So there's about... Okay, now we want to take about two-thirds of this away. Uh, yeah, right about this much. This is about how much you want to use. And I'm going to say this. Also, when you store tofu in the refrigerator, it lasts longer if you add water. So I'm just going to go ahead and add water to store it. Uh, yeah, and if and if you uh, have to, if you store it more than 24 hours, you need to change the water every day, and it'll make the tofu last longer. Just in case I don't make this today, which I think I will, let me go ahead and add some water. So, okay, that will uh, that helps your tofu last longer. So. Yeah, though I'm pretty sure I'll end up making it today. So, but that's how you that's how you preserve tofu in the refrigerator. You uh, change the water every day and uh, store it in water. Okay, this is going to go in the refrigerator. I'm pretty sure I'll be making this today. So I'm, I'm going to make something else with that, but I'm not going to make it a video for that because I've already. Uh, um, I've already made a video, probably with Tommy Seaweed Salad, which I've already made a video on. Okay, um, now the next, let me go ahead and assemble the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. Okay, we're going to get the sauce ready. I have to remember, remember that everything is a third. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put in two tablespoons sugar. I'm going to use a sugar substitute because this seems to be agreeing with me, actually. 
uh, actually one third of two tablespoons, so that would probably be about that much. Yep, about one third of two tablespoons. Okay. The next ingredient is, uh, oh, the egg yolks. Yeah, let me go ahead and get the egg yolks ready. I need three egg yolks. I've done this before. I'll have to separate the uh, yolks from the whites. Make sure I don't, oh, shucks. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I think Lori McBride using brain control on me. I'll be throwing that out anyway. That yolk is still intact. So, <laughs> be helpful not to break the yolks when I do this. You know what? Let me go ahead and set it right now. Get another cup of uh, Yeah, put them in here. I find the best way to separate it, just use a tablespoon, get it in like that. Woo! Good! That was a big yoke. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to cough on the food. The allergies making me cough. Okay. Don't let me break it. If you get a little egg white in there, it's not going to kill anything. That's good enough. Okay, I need... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The X, I only needed one egg yolk. You know what? It probably won't kill me to have two egg yolks. <laughs> Give me more protein. It'll probably still be good. <laughs> you might say, you're not following the recipe. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Jeez, Lori McBride using brain control on me. Okay, um, it probably won't kill me. Uh, I'll make a little bit more sauce. So that means, that should I put in more sugar? Uh, how much sugar did this? Two tablespoons sugar? Yeah, I'm going to half the sauce. Yeah, put in a little bit more sauce. A little bit more sugar. Half the sauce. Put that in there. That'll work. Okay, now, yeah, I'm going to do half the sauce, even though, uh, that way I'll have plenty of sauce, it'll probably make it even better. Okay, um, two egg yolks, sugar, four tablespoons of mirin, that'd be two tablespoons of mirin. How did world here to go? Four, all right, two tablespoons of mirin. Yeah, that'll make it nice and, uh. I probably should have mixed it here. This is the first time I've made this, so. All right, two tablespoons of mirin. And the egg yolks. Miso, miso, I need, and it says for eight tablespoons of miso paste, a third of that would be maybe about, well, half of that. We'll do four tablespoons of miso paste. It's going to be kind of salty, you know? Kind of salty. Watch this. That'll be kind of salty. I had to wash this because I don't want to get eggs and stuff in here. Here's the miso paste. Actually, that might work out good, though. Okay, there's about one tablespoon. A 
about two tablespoons. Japanese food agrees with me. I'm thinking maybe the reason Italian food doesn't agree with me is because of my Japanese genes, maybe. Because I've had, I've heard that Russians can tolerate drinking more alcohol than most people because it's so deeply ingrained in their culture that they um, that they can tolerate it. Maybe the reason I can't tolerate the Italian cuisine is because I'm, I'm half Japanese and maybe that's why Japanese food agrees with me more because of my genes, because my mother's Japanese. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe that's why um, Italian food, maybe if I was Italian, you know, my genes would be different and I could handle their food better. I don't know. I know Japanese food seems to agree with me the most. Okay. And I guess that's good because Japanese food's really healthy. All right, so now we, we got the miso, the egg yolks. Obviously, I'm going to have to uh, do this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just throw that in there. I think the best way to mix this would be with my fingers. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Let's go take a look at that. Yeah. All right. Um. Before I know it, that alarm's going to go off, and I'm going to have to have this. Oh, man. I, I don't have a brush. I'm going to have My brush is no good. That brush thing. Oh, jeez. Lori McBride's brain control is really bad, man. She needs to go. She's making me drop things. Check this brush out. You know what? I think this brush is... I don't know. I'm not sure about this brush. <laughs> I, I think I'm just going to use my fingers. <laughs> Combine miso, egg yolk, sugar, mirror, and cook over low heat stirring constantly. Best way to do this is with my fingers. Because I gotta kinda get the paste. This kind of reminds me of um, like making bread, you know? <laughs> gotta use your fingers a lot sometimes. Interesting. The yeah, only criticism I say about the Japanese cuisine, it tends to be salty. Ha <laughs> ha. But it does agree with me though. And my Japanese grandma lived to 102, so she she uh, she had a stroke, I think. Ha <laughs> ha! Too much salt living on the farm. Okay, let me just go ahead and cook this over low heat. I think I'm going to use my fingers to spread it over the, uh, the uh, eggplant because cause I don't trust that brush. It looks like it needs to be chucked. <laughs> Anybody want to buy me a brush? <laughs> and so, okay. Okay, cook over low heat, stirring constantly. So you didn't use real sugar? For some odd reason, this artificial sweetener seems to agree with me, and I'm not going to complain, and it's helping me keep my weight good, too. Yeah. Right now, my body's rebelling against too much sugar. <laughs> okay. So, over low heat. Stirring constantly. It'll be ready from when the... Uh, Oh, I think I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I already have the green onions. Um, okay, I'm going to keep on doing that with this. And let me get out just the green onions that I need because this is frozen and I don't want this to thaw out. I'm going to throw in a tad of sesame oil to make up for the fact that I do not have uh, sesame seeds to give it a little bit of sesame flavor. There, that's good. Yeah, I threw in a little bit of sesame oil there. Yeah. 
gives it a little sesame flavor. Sesame flavor is really important, I've noticed, in Japanese cooking. So I threw in some sesame oil. I think it's done. Let me turn the heat off. That's good enough. The eggplants are almost ready for me to take out and put the glaze on. Yeah. Actually, I think this is going to be good. <laughs> And I think it'll agree with me. Here's the temperature on the oven. Um, this was a last minute decision to, with this eggplant. I was going to make a Middle Eastern dish with it, but it had lots of onions and garlic. And uh, I said, I just, my stomach has been too upset. I do not want to risk it. Onions and garlic is something I need to lay low on right now. So I think it's almost time for me to take it out of the oven. Okay, I just pulled them out, and they look like they're ready. I'm going to have to flip them. Oh, no, I need to add tofu. I need to add tofu, yeah. Let's go add some tofu. I think I'll put it right here in the middle here. Yep. Okay, I gotta cook for five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay, put it back in the oven for five more minutes. Let's open the door. And stick it back in there. All right. Okay, I'm just wondering how I'm going to put this sauce on this without a broth. I'm not sure I trust that brush. This is kind of hot, you know. I guess I'm going to have to use a spoon, eh? Okay. Use a little spoon. Okay. Preheat grill to the highest setting. Okay, we're going to do that. S spread glaze on top of eggplants and tofu and good four to five minutes until... Okay. Huh. I guess I could use this. A brush would be the best way to do it. <laughs> this will work too, you know. Oh, you know what? I need to turn it over. Ah! What am I thinking? Lori's brain control is really bad. Yeah, this isn't what I want. Though that probably won't kill anything, but... Put it in there. Ha ha ha! Put it in there. Let's go ahead and turn it over. Yeah! Flip it! Mmm. Yeah, this will be good. Tastes like Japanese. I love Japanese food. <laughs> I was raised on it. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. Ah, man, it's sticking. You know what? I don't have to use aluminum foil. No, oh, that's okay. First time I've made this. It's going to be delicious, though, I can tell. All right. Okay. Yeah, spoon will work. I, I don't really have a good brush, so... I can already tell this is going to be good. I tasted some of the sauce. I was like, yummy. Ha. Get it on some of the yogurt, too technique you use when you don't have a brush, right? <laughs> I don't trust that brush. I 
Anybody want to buy me a brush? <laughs> It's amazing what you can do when you don't. I wonder how they made food back in Jesus' time, you know? Probably just the way I'm doing it right now, you know? I don't think they had all this fancy stuff. Maybe they use camel hair to make brushes or something. <laughs> this is going to be good, man. I can tell. This is going to be good. You know what? I might have made a little too much sauce. It's on the highest setting. I can see why they want to score it, because you want to get it. Okay, this is good. I, I don't think I'm going to use all this sauce. It's going to make it too salty. Now, they don't tell me to do this. It's starting to cool off now, so I can use my fingers. They don't tell me to do this, but I think I'm... They say to put the green onions down later, but because I'm using frozen green onions, I think I'm going to go ahead and add them in now. And yeah, that's good. This is going to be delicious. Ha, I can tell. All right. Oh, it's already preheated, man. Ha, ha, ha. The oven's ready. Let's go ahead and throw in. Like I said, this was a last minute decision. This is going to be good though, I can tell. Let's go ahead and stick it in there for about five minutes. It's on the broiler. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. Okie dokie. It's on the broiler. It's already done. Let me pull it out. I can tell. All right. Yep. That's good enough for me. All right. Let's go ahead and take it. Now. What I'll do is test it and let you know what it's like. Hey, let's try it. <laughs> ah, I think you almost need a knife for this. Mmm, this is good. <laughs> Simple but good, huh? I think I need a spoon. This is delicious. I love it. <laughs> Get me a spoon. Yeah. Hopefully this will agree with me. <laughs> it's like I can't. You can kind of like scoop it out of here. Let's see if I can... Mmm. This is really good. I accidentally discovered a masterpiece. <laughs> this is really good. And I don't think this is going to give me an upset stomach. Because, I, like I said, I'm used to Japanese food. Mmm. Really good. Wow. I'm going to be making this again. <laughs> this is good.